You know, I honestly can't believe it. After about two to three weeks, we finally have some clear skies. So you know what that means. It's time for some imaging. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Mountain Ash Photography, and yeah, finally, after about two to three weeks of nothing but rain, rain, and more rain, we've gotten almost a foot of rain in the past week and a half with all these slow moving thunderstorms. And finally, after so long, we have some clear skies and we have a new moon as well for this week. So, you know what? Perfect timing. So you know what that means? It is time for some broadband targets because of the new moon. Now, this was not the original target I wanted to actually go after tonight. It's actually I wanted to go after a combination target between both of my wide field and my Newtonian setups for a really cool picture that's not too far away from Polaris. But we learned about something that popped up in the Deer Lake group a few days ago and inside of the main galaxy for this cluster we actually have a brand new supernova that was detected supernova 2025 rbs not sure what the name of that has any reference to probably who discovered it in itself but brand new supernova right in the main galaxy of the group of ngc 7331 and we're going to be able to image that tonight and we should be getting some really good data on this too because one, the clear skies we're going to be seeing here over the next couple of nights and two, we don't have the moon to worry about. So it's broadband all the way. But there's also another little grouping of galaxies right nearby and as I was checking the framing for it, we can actually include it as well. So we're going to be getting two galaxy clusters in one field of view image and it's going to look quite awesome. So what I didn't realize right next to the Deer Lake group is another very famous cluster of galaxies. In fact, it's one of the first images that came from the James Webb Space Telescope is Stevens Quintent, four galaxy cluster right next to the same field of view. So why not? Let's go ahead and do both of them in the same, you know, area and pick up that new supernova that was just spotted just a few days ago. All right, so tackling this target tonight, I'm going to be using something that has the most focal length and the greatest crop for this image, and that is my Skywatcher Quattro 150P 6-inch Newtonian telescope, super fast focal ratios of f3.5 with a focal length at about 517 when you add in the coma corrector and reducer. And using the camera, I am going to be going monochrome for this uh, setup here which is the ZWO ASI 585MM Pro. And inside of the filter wheel here, I'm going to be using four separate filters from Optolong. Optolong Luminance Red, Green, and Blue with the rotator here because I have to use the CAA to be able to position this exactly where I would want it so I could fit both the Deer Lick Group and Stephen's Quintent right next to each other in the same field of view. Tracking everything will be the ZWO AM5 Streamway Gear Mount. Basically my absolute go-to and this is what's going to be living in the observatory when it's all done. Controlling everything and guiding will be the SV Boney 40mm uh, guide scope with the ZWO ASI 678mm for my guide camera. Controlling everything will be the Melee Quieter PC which is going to be controlling it with Nina and powering everything, the SV Boney SV241 power box. Now, if you happen to catch the deal that was on Amazon for one day for about 12 hours, 
you could have got one of these power boxes for $30. I actually picked up a second one, as a matter of fact, for my wide field rig to use. So completely all together, we're gonna be going after the supernova. We're gonna wait for nightfall, go ahead and have to, you know, repull a line everything since I've taken it off inside for the time being of the monsoon we've been dealing with. Wait for nightfall, do some polar alignment, set up our imaging sequence, and let's go after the supernova. Okay, so it's now finally nightfall, and we were able to do our polar alignment. We're gonna go ahead and start our imaging sequence here. Um, I'm gonna actually show you exactly what I'm gonna be viewing here. So this is NGC 7331. And this is the field of view we're going to be working with. Over here is where uh, the supernova is supposed to be, right near the core of NGC 7331, with this cluster here known as the Deerlick. And then on this side, this is where the Stephen Quintet is, that four-cluster galaxy famous on the James Webb Space Telescope image from a few years ago. So we're going to be able to have both of them right in our field of view. So with the imaging sequence I'm going to be using for this evening, I'm going to open it right on up. And we are going to be first starting off with some LRGB formats. So this is what I'm going to be working with. I'm going to be doing a 3-1-1-1 ratio. I'm going to be doing three luminance uh, shots in a row of two minutes each. Switch over towards the red, the green, and then the blue. And then that's just going to cycle all throughout the night. And by the time it's done, it's going to, you know, go back to the home position, close up the flat panel there, and then wait for the next night. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this run in a sequence. It's going to go ahead and do its thing. And we're just going to be patiently awaiting for when the first image will start rolling in. Okay, so we have the first frame to come in. And one thing with Nina is it does not like to... Uh, auto stretch the image very well especially when I'm doing my uh, broadband stuff but we have the galaxy in question here so I'm actually going to go into PixInsight really fast just to uh, load up that frame so here we go do an auto stretch and here is the galaxy in question and there it is we actually see the supernova here is the core of the galaxy right here and right there where that kind of looks star is that's where that new supernova is. SN2025 RBS is located. So we got a couple of galaxies there in the background. And over towards the right side, we have Stephen's Quintet. We have one, two, three, and four galaxies all in this tight cluster here. So with just one single exposure, we can see the supernova right now. So we're just going to let this run through the course of tonight. Uh, Maybe even tomorrow night as well. Get two nights of really good data on this target. And can't wait to see what this final product will look like. And just like that, we have two nights of capturing the Deer Lake group with this supernova. And let me tell you, it's probably one of my favorite galaxy images I've done so far. I love fast Newtonian telescopes. And I love monochrome imaging at this point. You, it's just unmatched the amount of detail that you can get from using, you know, 100% of your sensor rather than sectioning off with one-shot color cameras. Definitely that switch over this year has been an absolute game changer. Now, I captured about 16 hours of LRGB data on NGC 7331 with the supernova known as the Deerlick Group. And over towards the side, I have cropped off and sectioned areas uh, the Stephen's Quintet, which is the first time I'm imaging both of these areas, but this image is definitely one of my all-time favorites now when it comes to uh, imaging some galaxies. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go out there and capture that supernova. It's still fairly bright. In fact, it's actually still brightening a little bit. As a matter of fact, it will be sticking around probably throughout the next, I would say, a few weeks before it will start fading off. So you better get to it quickly. I'm going to show the results of both of these images here, but as always, clear skies. See you in the next video because we have a lot of other videos on the way, including some more imaging of a major project that I've been working on here this past week as well. More of some product reviews ahead, so a lot to look forward to. So 
as always, clear skies. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers and enjoy the results.